Zabuza Mamuchi is now finally purchasable as the first Shinobi Shocker Season 2 DLC character. How's it going everybody? In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the Zabuza DLC, sharing my thoughts and opinions, and seeing if Zabuza is really worth your money. Zabuza is a defense type character, so all of his jutsu will of course be exclusive to the defense class. I have been playing as Zabuza a lot recently, and so far I'm having fun. But without further ado, let's jump straight in. To start off, everything that you can unlock from Zabuza includes a demon human face paint, Shinobi Boo seals, his weapon, the Severe Sword Executioner's Blade Demon Human, which does have a glowing red aura that looks pretty sweet. Zabuza's hair, which I know a lot of people will like. More Shinobi Boo Seals, Hidden Miss Jutsu, Water Prison Jutsu. Zabuza's outfit that does keep his face right, luckily. And finally, the Demon Hunter Jutsu. Now for his Jutsu, the first one we have is Demon Hunter. This is, in my opinion, the strongest Jutsu out of the three. When activated, the Demon Hunter cloaks the user in a glowing aura. You then perform a charging upward strike. While doing so, it also prevents you from flinching against enemy attacks. And keep in mind, even after you perform the upward strike, the aura still lingers around your body for a few seconds. So during that whole time period, you will not flinch from any enemy attacks, which works so well with this next jutsu, the water prison. In this jutsu, the user charges towards the enemy, similar to how you charge at someone while using planetary devastation. When you manage to hit the enemy, they will be held in a water prison by a clone of you, causing your real body to teleport backwards away from the enemy. The water prison also deals continuous damage to whoever is inside. I found that this jutsu is pretty hard to pull off because it has no super armor so enemies can easily cancel it with something as simple as a kunai but there is a solution. The reason these two jutsu work so well together is because while having the demon aura around you it's much easier to capture enemies in the water prison since you're unable to flinch. Now last but not least we have Zabuza's secret technique, hidden miss jutsu. This jutsu is really fun to use because it almost made me feel like I was actually Zabuza sneaking around and attacking my prey from the shadows. When you activate the Hidden Mist Jutsu, a thick fog appears completely blinding your enemies while allowing you to see clearly. Here's some gameplay of when it's used against you versus when you use it yourself. Believe it or not, the mist covers the whole map. Yes, you heard me correctly. The whole map. While in this jutsu, the movement speed of enemies will be decreased while also disabling their substitution jutsu. On the other hand, it buffs the user's attack power and movement speed. So it basically just gives you a huge advantage over your enemies. But something that did bother me was that your opponents can still lock onto you, which sort of defeats the whole purpose of blinding them. Sure, making them blind will cause a little bit of confusion, but I still think it wouldn't be too OP if they just made it to where enemies could not lock onto you. In conclusion, I think Zawas is a great addition to the game and has really fun jutsu. So do I I think he is worth your money? Yes. Zabuza is probably the funnest cast character to use in my opinion and also has really cool things you can unlock like his outfit and his sword. So if you're still on the fence about whether you want to buy the DLC or not, I strongly recommend it. Be sure to look out for a build video using Zabuza's Jutsu tomorrow. But other than that, make sure to subscribe with notifications on if you're new. Follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. Like the video if you liked the video and as always, Preview Sage out. Peace.